Hey gang, this is a Pasadena bus stop. That's no joke. You can see the bus stop sign right there under the tree. That's what a Pasadena bus stop looks like. So the city of Burbank likes to talk about how they want to compare notes all the time with other cities. Well, let's compare notes and see how these other cities are doing business. And you know what? I think what's emblematic of our city, and I've been here so long, and I, you know, I hate to be the guy that beats on this all the time. I really think other people want to beat on it, but you know, if they talk about it, they're either going to be deemed a, a fascist, a racist. Uh, you know, fortunately, I am a BIPOC person, so I can be constantly hammering on things and not be worried that people are going to call me a racist because in fact I am half East Indian so <laughs> there you go so you know when I first started out in LA I indeed used the buses and you know I rapidly found yeah, out that buses weren't the best way to get around but hey I used them for a short period of time and I feel like you know it's uh it's good weather in California you know, you really want to offer bus service, then just go ahead and just put a bus, a bus bench there. You don't need a shelter. You don't need it. I think what they were probably imagining when they did the deal with the bus shelter is that they were going to clean up and make a ton of revenue on the advertising. And they realized very quickly that uh, that didn't really work out the way they had hoped. Then they had the people who do the advertising start having to pick up the trash and they're not doing a great job at that. In fact, most of the time you'll notice the trash is overflowing. You know, dump the, tr get rid of the trash, get rid of the bus shelter and just do what, you know, the city of Pasadena does. Just have a little bench there and make sure the bench has a thing in it so that, you know, people can't sleep on the bench and that's it, you know. If that's what you offer, it'll be so much less expensive to maintain, particularly, you know, for the Burbank bus. And if Metro gets all balky and difficult, that's a whole nother conversation, fine. But. You know, Burbank needs to start thinking in terms of the future. You cannot keep pampering and giving luxuries to every single solitary person and spend millions and millions of dollars on everything. I mean, a golf course that loses so much money, they had to absorb it into the general fund four years ago. A bus business that has one or two passengers. They're running the buses with one or two passengers on a bus. You know, I suggested they just rent some, you know, get Hertz or Avis or one of these companies to buy a fleet of little minivans if they really insist on having a local bus service. But nobody ever listens. They just sit there. A few people listen. A few people listen. There have been some changes, some positive changes. But it's interesting that nobody ever writes a letter and says, hi, you know, we used your idea or, oh, that was a good idea. We went ahead and did it. Uh, what they do is, you know, they just sort of like, are embarrassed that someone's constantly complaining and that they just think it's another rant rant from another neighbor resident whatever no guys these bus shelters are an anachronism it's time for them to go you know people most people who have a job and get around unless you're a, a you know a retired individual or you're really 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 low income you're using uber okay I mean, I, I, if you're trying to get around Burbank, you know, our employees that don't have cars use the bikes and occasionally they use Uber. I had an employee that lived downtown. He used Uber to get to work. All right, for a long period of time. I think it was 2012 to 2019, he used Uber and, and was happy with Uber. Uh, but he also found that he liked living downtown. That was his thing. So folks, please get rid of the, these huge expensive bus shelters. Do what Pasadena did and make a good decision and just dump the bus shelters. They're a complete waste of money. And let the merchants put out trash cans for their own customers. Please stop putting out garbage cans and pampering our, our retailers with tr free trash pickup. Come on now, really?